Hey, this is Ant Minor Repair, and tonight we are going to repair this chip mount or chip footing or or whatever. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to do it with. And um, I've used it on one other chip that had this problem, and uh, it worked great. It worked fantastic. I was able to put the new chip on. So what is the problem, you ask? Well, give you a teaser. This is not supposed to go all the way through. I mean, it does as far as electric, but there's supposed to be a barrier here for the solder. Same thing with this side. It's supposed to be a barrier from these two guys going onto the board. So when you try to put on the ship chip, all the solder just goes roop right into the pad and you can't solder the chip on. So um, I'm gonna put this barrier back in. I've got this green goo that is reactive to UV light. I'll show it to you in a second. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. Um, all right, so if you like this content, please, please, more than 60% of the views of these videos, you don't subscribe to the content. Please click the subscribe. It doesn't spam you, doesn't do anything about that. It just subscribes you and it gives me more credit with YouTube. So I ask you hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell if you wanna be notified when I do the videos and, and release them. So thank you for, for doing that in advance. Um, the other thing I have to say is join our Discord server if you're into repairing these things or want to begin to learn how to repair these things. Um, I, I think it's, it's essential that you get the right information and there's a lot of people doing this on that Discord server. You can ask questions. There's a lot of interactive going back and forth. Um, it's great that deal. So, <clears throat> all right, let's get started. Um, I don't know what kind of view I have with my other camera. We're going to find out. Oh, look at that. So you can kind of see what I've got. In fact, I'll lay out this piece of paper. This 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 notepad of paper, I mean, this uh, paper towel is very much needed when you do this. Now I'm storing, I'm storing this in foil because in theory, you can uh, put the boards out in broad daylight and they'll cure. So I don't want this, this goop stuff. This is a kit. Um, it really doesn't have a name. I will put a link to it says unique design, quality and innovation, but um, it's more talking about the bag and stuff. But what do they call this? They call it soldering mask ink. So I've got some green soldering mask ink and I'll open it up here. And we're gonna use so little of this. This will probably last me the lifetime, although it'll probably dry up. It comes with a plunger, it comes with uh, cap to put the plunger in and then the cap here. I've just been unscrewing this, dipping a needle in there and using what I need. It also comes with a nice brush, but I haven't used it yet. So let me see. If you want to get the name in Chinese, there it is. VU. That just means it cures with a black light. So, gee, I wonder if I could do this. Maybe you could save the video and uh, I don't think it'll, uh, I don't think it'll focus on that QR code. All right, so let me put my tin foil away so I can use it again later. Um, now the trick is, so, I, so I've got this, we're not ready for this yet. We can't just lob it on there. This stuff does not stick to solder very well. And I'll switch to microphone, uh, uh, microscope view in a second. So basically I take a pin and I'm gonna mark it in there and I'm gonna use this. I have this. This is a little gadget I bought right here. Um, it's a UV light. So when you turn it on, and I think I've got it still plugged in, it makes, it doesn't look like black light there, but that's a black light. So, oh, that's real great. I'm curing the stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, I might have to buy some more now. None of this will work. So <clears throat> anyhow, I think it takes some air. I hope it takes some air. So we're gonna actually touch this up. Um, it's, a, it's a really fine, kind of difficult job because you can't dig too deep you'll ruin the whole thing and have to rebuild the whole connection but um, let me switch views and um, the first step is to and I've already done it pretty well on this but basically use this solder wick that my dog chewed some of it off look at this that dog was just bored and started chewing the solder wick off but I can still use the copper line he didn't do that so um <clears throat> We're gonna put some solder paste on here. We're gonna clean these guys, especially those two areas, really, really well. 
and just get every bit of solder up on those bridges we can. And then I'm literally gonna take this small exacto exact knife. It's not really an exacto knife. It came with my uh, soldering uh, paste spreader kit, but I'm gonna actually try to scrape solder off where I need to scrape it very, very carefully so that I can get down to either copper or gold so this stuff will stick, okay? So I'm gonna put this away for the time being so I don't have any mistakes with my black light. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to the, uh, this will be the second one of these I do, so not guaranteed to be perfect, but um, let's get this, oh, I need to change my tip. So right now I have this tip on my soldering iron. That's not gonna work. I need my big chisel, because on that pad you have to use a lot of heat. So I'm gonna switch that to my chisel. I always use that to clean the pad. I hope I don't run out of flux. I'm getting real on flux. It's time to open up a new package. But I think I have enough to do this experiment. Okay, so I've got my chisel on. I think what I'm going to do is just let's clean the pad first, then I'll do the legs um, just for the heck of it. So I like putting a lot of this. I, I actually trim. Where's my knife? Ah, oh, here it is. My handy buck knife here. I actually trim just a just a section of this, and if I need more, I'll trim some more. So I usually just have a have that guy hanging out. So you see, I use these tweezers to hold one side while I use the iron for now. So I'm gonna heat it up to 400. I use a higher heat because you got to heat a lot on that pad. I can watch this. I'm going to get rid of this paper towel and the chisel, but not the flux. All right, so they're safely tucked away. I'm just making some room here. I got my ohm meter. I just don't have enough desk space. All right, so that's over there. Now I have a little bit more room to work. So let's grab this guy so I can hold on to it. Okay, the chisel is almost at 400. I think I'm going to turn this sideways so on you guys. Just got to find it now. There it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go. I have more room to move my hands. All right, here comes the... Let me clean that. Make sure that tip is nice and good. We're just going to clean this pad up really good. So you can see it really smoking. And gosh, I should have my fume extractor for this. Let me flip that on. Hopefully it will work good. Okay. So we already picked up a little bit of solder, but let's, um, I like working this top part back and forth, getting it nice and cleaned off. Try to drag it back and forth if I can. And then the pad back and forth. Oh yeah, lots of solder smoke. I can see the solder up in there. See how we're looking here. There's still some solder there. We got a bunched up right here. Let's see if we can pick that up. Okay. Pad looks pretty decent. Let's um, see if we can grab these legs now. I might as well do them all because I'm gonna have to retreat them. So I'm kind of going with with the. Uh, I need some flux there. Hang on just a second. And try it with a lot more flux. Make sure this guy's still good. I think I'll switch sides for him because he's already picked up some solder. Don't want to put it back down, right? Okay, so I'm going to um, try again here. Straighten that guy out. There you go. Okay, actually from up here, it looks pretty good. From the microscope, it looks like it could be better. But I think that's all we're gonna get out of it. I'm gonna do the same thing um, with the other side because we have to work on both sides of this chip. So give her some more flux so the copper soaks that up good. Here comes my chisel. If 
especially where we're going to work there. Got to get that off. Okay, and I'm going to get this stuff up here because after we're done with this, I want to put a chip on it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's uh, clean it up with some alcohol. I'm going to turn off the soldering iron. Get my alcohol out here. Let's see, right here. Clean that guy up really good. Has some burn. I just cut a slog on the alcohol and rub it all around, and then I grab a little piece of tissue paper and sop it up. Probably better tools. Probably ought to do better with my alcohol management for my boards. All right, we'll let that dry off. Um, probably want to switch back to this view if I can. It's easier for my hands to work on that. Still feels a little bit sticky. Let me scrub her down again. It's had lots of coats of flux on it before. Much better. Okay. So everything's fine. Let's just take a look at this pad now. It's starting to wear here. Starting to wear here. This is for multiple attempts to try to put this chip on. We've got some solder over that bridge. Hopefully I can remove it. Starting to get a little worn along this line. See that? It's a little nice. But but really where we have to worry about is right there. And right there, there's another one, I think. Yeah, I've seen another one up here on a different chip, maybe right there, but it doesn't seem to get burned out. So you have to be real careful with this. I'm thinking about maybe investing in some really tiny sandpaper, but I'm gonna try to just barely scrape solder so I can start seeing some gold there. And clean off the solder all the way around. Hoping this camera isn't hiding the fact that I'm narrow, right? And take another look through another camera. I don't want to move, I don't want to get rid of the whole bridge. We need it. I'm using my digital microscope. Sorry, it's been in the way right here. Let me just see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks clean. That's actually copper. Let me see. The way the light's shining on it. Or is my microscope wrong? Hang on, I'm gonna pull this out. Well, it looks like it's partial copper. The other one I did kind of started shining. Yeah, I actually have cleaned up the bridge quite a bit there. Let me see. You can't tell with this microscope. Maybe, let me, let me go in. Let's see what we can do really close. There. That's better. Okay. So if you look at what I've done, I think I could scrape really light, just get rid of all the, looks pretty good. There's just a touch of stuff there. I wouldn't mind getting that green stuff all the way up to the edge of this chip. So if you can just, all right. I had the light, you can tell I've, I've got something that the green stuff is gonna hook on, okay? So you gotta just be real careful because once you break through that, you're in for a, um, a repair. I think that's enough. I think it'll stick. I think that's about, uh, this. just see what we can do here. I'm doing this very lightly. I'm 
Sometimes I'm pulling it. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. So let's um let's move to the other side. See if I can get this microscope to extend a little further. Yeah. And I might try the push technique on this. On this a lot of solder on here. Maybe I ought to, um, I think it works better doing it toward the pin. So I'm flipping the thing around. I've got to move my microscope so it's where you can see. A little longer out here, probably there. Okay, here we are. Boy, it sure looks messy, but I think it'll work. So. Okay, here's our other side we're working on. Still looks like there's quite a lot of solder on it. I'm just going to start working on this upper guy right here. Real careful, just trimming that off. I don't know, but I think that's probably it. Let's try the other side now. Not too deep, just just get the solder. You're just very carefully taking the solder off. Maybe a, a little piece of sandpaper might work great too, I don't know. It's like a little ridge there, let me keep trimming. Back to the edge of the board. Okay, let me look at that again, face down with better light. Off video here, just a second. See how it looks. Yeah, it still looks a little rough. Um, I've got I've gotten down to the brass, but there's still a couple surfaces with solder in it. Let me find it here. Right here. So like, it just needs to be manipulated a little more. I'm not sure this will do it. There's that bridge of solder right in there on that one. Right there. Turn on the right one. Seems to look a little smoother and better now. So I'm kind of almost going sideways at a diagonal with it. It's very lightly. It's kind of picking up some of the green too. Let's see if I change the color. Still see like a, you still see the material. You see this uh, right there. I want to try to get rid of that. Let's try to work just on that little section. What will happen if there's still solder on it, the solder will melt from underneath the green stuff and just join the other solder and you've kind of wasted your time. So. I mean, it looks really messy. Let me try turning down the light here. You see the score marks, but I actually think that's going to work. If it doesn't, I'll know I have to clean it more, but I basically took the solder off that by the by the brute force method. Okay, I'm gonna bring the iron. Actually, maybe this is good enough. Why don't we just do it this way? It's really hard to do this with the head of a pen. 
Man, I just see that valley that's bugging me. It's just a touch. I can tell just by looking at the board with my naked eye that there's um, a different color metal there. I think the microscope really scores that it's, um, see when you start looking at this way, like blurred to see the different color of metal in there, kind of like gold. So let's go back on up as high as I can. Now I'm gonna go make a mess with paint. You wanna keep paper towels all over. I saw, saw some people using rubber gloves. I just keep paper. Um, you're gonna put this on with a needle. So I'll choose my victim here. And it's really hard because the, so the uh, paint doesn't stay on the tip. I basically have to like lay it down and then I have to clean up all the excess, which is a pain. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna get the goop out, the green goop, and, um, take off the end of it. Hopefully I didn't cure it all with my light. Let's do the top guys first. Yeah, <laughs> what a mess. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try to get that guy in. Okay. That's all I need to do. So find a small shred of your paper, rip it off, clean off the green and maybe use it to clean up some of this. So the problem is I got two of these going on now. So let me see. So I'm gonna go over here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna try to get some excess up in this paper towel. It's pretty liquidy. So I don't care if it kind of spreads out. And actually, if it goes on the solder and hardens, I can just kind of scrape it away. So I'm not, I'm not so concerned about the solder side of stuff. Just making sure that it's covering what it needs to and not so thick that it's going to stick up. I'm trying to go right in right next to it. Trying to keep our bridge intact there, but I don't want the, this mess right here. Stuff gets hard as a rock. There's a little too much there. So we want it over the bridge. Now I'm going to leave it like that. Now let's clean up this other one. <laughs> I really don't care, but I, I want to minimize my cleanup. All right, so now let's see if we can bring this stuff back on the bridge. Doesn't have to be heavy. So there's a light coat and a light coat. Let's see how that works. I might have to do it again. All right, so I'm gonna get my super duper black light and zap this. Just keep it on there and kind of work it around for a little bit. They don't have instructions to tell you how long to do this, but I'm going to do it plenty. Okay. Let's see what mess we made here that I get to clean up. I've got the head of my pen that's clean. Let's take a look here. Let's, let's look here. I really don't want it here. Now let's see if it's soft yet. So, no, it's hard as a rock. So, so watch how I can scrape it off this solder. See how it peels off. I'm just going to clean up the edge of this chip here. I could use a knife. So I don't care if it's in the little valley. I don't care if it's over here. 
popular these These dudes out here are really what matter. <clears throat> okay. So that should work. So my guess is that the solder is just going to come. It might come a little more because I think I really only cleared it out here. So it might dispatch this. I'm not worried about it, but it will stop there probably. So let's get this other side done. Um, I'm going to go take a closer look here. Looks messy, but it's going to do the job. Okay, we'll just leave that there. And let's go over here and clean up the leg. So really we want it to go Maybe the knife would be better. That'll do. That one looks a little more solid. This one looks a little light. Looks like there's still solder underneath there, but um, let's give it a try. So the next step is, is actually to tin the legs. So I'm going to do that and let's see how it works. If I could get good tin on the legs and it sticks, um, we're good to go. I'm going to put the cap on the green glue and wrap it back up in the foil for right now. Keep it away from me. The sun's already gone down. The foil won't let any sunlight get to it. I have a window I sit next to, so sometimes I put store stuff over there. So it looks a little messy. Let's see how it works. So I'm going to shift orientation again because I'm more comfortable working on stuff in a certain way. Let's get the um, come on up a little bit. Okay. All right. Good. So let's get some solder on this dude. I gotta change tips. Let me change the tips. This one's too all hot. So. And I'm going to set the temperature back down to 300. I don't like getting it so hot. You know, they say the temperature that's only 125 degrees centigrade, but the soldering is a lot hotter, but it can take it for a little bit. So. I go for lower solder just to protect the pad. It's kind of harder to tin them with the solder. I have 183 degree melting point solder. Um, however, it, does work. So let's try this guy first. So we can get him ready to take a chip. And put a little uh, supply on my tip. Okay. All right. So here goes. Even on top of the solder, I need to go clean my leg there. You notice even on top of the solder, he doesn't want to stick. That stuff is fantastic, actually. So, um, imagine if I melt it, it would go. So let's let's um, clean up that leg so it'll take some solder now. That's that's just great. Um, notice it didn't pour on into the board, and it won't when I set the chip either. So here we go. Let's take a look here. Yeah, well, I have one place to stick there. Hopefully, I can clean that up real quick. 
pays pays to be sloppy. Right? All right. Let me um. All right. Yeah, we do need a leg there. I don't want to take it too much. All right, let's see if we can get it. a little of it on there. I think the others got it. So we're just working on this guy down here. Clean off the tip. I think there's a solder pretty much. It's there. I think we're a little light on the solder up there. Let me um, put just a touch at the top. I like a lot of solder down here because I don't want to put a lot of solder on the chip necessarily. Let's see. Here. I think that's probably okay, but it's just. I have to clean up a bridge, that's okay. They always bridge on these and you always get them hotter because they're connected to the pad and you don't have the heat on the iron. So I just kind of keep doing this and take off the excess solder. Just make sure you have enough flux on these. There, got it. Uh-oh, is that a bridge up here? Not anymore. All right, let's clean it off and make sure we're good and we'll do the other side. That guy's sticking up in the air, but he's got solder. It's going to take. So. All right, good deal. Good deal. Look at that. It stayed where it was supposed to stay. You feel nice. All right, let's do the other side now. So we'll see how this guy works. I'm going to, um, in anticipation of what happened last time, I want to make sure the chip has every possible chance of connecting. So. Clean that up to touch. Grab me some solder to ride along the tip. Okay, here it goes. Let's see, is that going to be good? See, I might have tinned. Maybe I should have tinned the outside of this. I think it's okay though. Let's um clean it off and take a look. It looks sloppy, but look at that. It held. It didn't go on the board. That that saw it's called solder paint or they call it solder resist. Nah, that's good. Chip's gonna like that. So there you go. You can tell the collateral damage, all the I got a lot of resistors to replace and some capacitors, but really concerned about the chip when I noticed the board was was destroyed. Um now I'm gonna put a chip on this. I'm probably gonna probably run a live session tonight um, for a little while and I'll do that but that's that green goop stuff I'll, I'll put a link up on the in the discord channel for tools and I'll put a link up on this video okay so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and be sure to subscribe please I need the subscriptions it helps pay for all this thank you very much